what is up everybody it's the inhuman one here with part 10 of the torch only playthrough for elden ring um i will say that the god skin duo has made me have to you know pull some tricks out of my bag and definitely go down you know option b and what have you so i, I technically had to kind of take a detour just so that i can hopefully face off with this boss a little bit more fairly and so what I've done is I had defeated Commander Nial using a torch only, and uh, now I obtained the uh, the access, I guess, to the consecrated snowfields area. So I went ahead and grabbed Saint Trina's torch, which, although I cannot use just ba uh, based off of the base stats, I am able to use it if I pop this flask here. Which means for three minutes I'll have the ability to have the increased faith. If for whatever reason the uh, the fights are going too long and beyond three minutes then I'm definitely gonna have to see how and where to obtain the uh, the talisman that increases the faith because I don't remember where that was so I might as well look, take a look at that really quickly just in preparation for that so let me see here talismans let's find the faith talisman let's see Halig Drake no Prosthesis, no. Two fingers. Okay, the two fingers heirloom. I forgot where this was at. I have it on my first playthrough. Can be found on the lower level of the purified ruins. Let's see here. On the lower level of the purified ruins. That should be Lyrany of the Lakes then. Okay, sweet. So in the event that we need to go ahead and grab that, that should increase our faith enough. And I'd have to change it out with something else here, which would be okay. I mean, I'd have to probably change it out with this uh, sore seal or something. But that's just uh, an option that we can... You know what? Since it's so easy to get, let's just go grab it. Let's just go grab the damn thing. Purified Ruins. Let's just go grab it. There's a lower level, and I think that what this is referring to is the area where... Um, oh, I shouldn't probably have this weapon on. That's okay. The area where I believe Hayata would be. <clears throat> but you know what? If I recall correctly, this one has the little illusory floor. I love that purple glow. Like, I'm just going to fall in love with that. I already have it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> okay. Don't you love when you're, like, so freaking prepared that you're, you shock yourself sometimes? That just happened. That just happened. I figured I got it because I remember talking about it in the run. Okay, great. So now let's equip this bad boy. Now we have the skills. So the only other thing I'd, I'd like to do, or be able to do, is um, change this back up to strength instead. So we're going to switch our flask back over to strength, because that'll deal damage all the way across the board. And then the only other thing I need to do is be able to change out my weapon very quickly. So, okay. I don't believe I can have both of them without changing my loadout, and I cannot. I am back at a medium loadout, though, which is unfortunate. Hmm. That kind of reduces the efficiency of that, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. We'll go with this for now. We're going to remove the Light Dancer charm. It's a 10% damage increase, but, you know, for now, I don't know if it's going to be very helpful. I want to be able to wield this torch without having any issues right without having to use a flask because three minutes uh, this fight's probably going to be closer to seven minutes long just thinking about it <clears throat> so let's see how much worse our damage is before we use the flask we were dealing probably somewhere around a 400 range so let's just kind of come in here real quickly lovely oh nice Lovely. A great start for the first attempt. <laughs> no damage. Okay. 
That's okay. That was a bad start. The fat guy, the noble, came in really aggressively and then he backed away and he circled around again, so. The trick with this torch, though, is that it's supposed to help him, you know, essentially it has the sleep effect, right? That soporific effect that you'd see on a grease. So I'm hoping that this is, uh, it works similarly. I've never used the L2 before, so I guess I could test that next time. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to bust through here first. And I just want to test the damage. I mean, I don't really mind if I die this time. That's not important. 308. Yikes. That's disgusting. That's okay, though. Disgustingly low damage. Where's the big boy? He's over here. Stabbing me in the spleen. Okay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, there's the big boy again. Yep. We'll go ahead and use two flasks, and we'll use this as well. You know what I'm probably going to end up doing later in my strategy is actually putting the fat one to sleep. That way I can safely attack the skinny one without interruption. I'm telling you, this the big one's so annoying. I want to put him to sleep anyways. Permanently. Let's see what this does. Haven't been able to put them to sleep yet. Also, that damage uh, is not nearly as good as the Beast Repellent Torch. That is unfortunate. Let's see. Let's try this out. Good morning. Let's make it a great stream indeed. Charge attacks. Okay, let me see here. Thinking through this. Thinking through this. The only thing I'm losing is my... My attack damage here if I don't change it out. So I should probably switch to... Instead of the charge attacks, which I very rarely am able to get on those guys... Let's try that instead. And I think I still have my heirloom thing attached. Okay, perfect. So I still have the stats needed to hold this thing. Let's try it out. We'll continue. I, I would love to be able to put these fools to sleep. And even if I have to put them to sleep and then change my torch to the damage the ones, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. See if we can make it through before we get stabbed. We've done it. Alright, we're going for the fat guy. Stab. Oh, lovely. I <clears throat> did not switch over to my flask of crimson tears so I when I tried to heal I was just like what I've done that a lot lately we're gonna go for the fat guy so we can put him to sleep very nice also I wonder what's the scaling on this thing it's C faith scaling, so maybe I should increase my faith, or have the faith not back there. That could work. Alright, big boy over here, very nice. Let's go. Very 
nice. I need the fat one up front. Thank you. Thank you. Back away. Oh no. I hate that they can attack through each other, but that's, I mean, that's just a, st a standard from soft thing. It just happens. This is one of the only games where they have uh, friendly fire, which is pretty nice. crazy he hit me from around the corner gotta love that nice I'm gonna get killed by the flame if I don't flask out the fast enough all right so now I think it'd be a good idea for me to switch to my torch here oh come on he healed right back up. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. I thought he'd stay stunned. Let me try that again. What's up, Elena? Oh, you're doing good, baby. So weird to call you by your name. That did not work very well at all. I'm curious if I might have hit him or stunned him out of that sleep effect or what, because he did not stay asleep. He just got staggered almost and then got right back up. I have a feeling that I might have messed with it though. All right, we're gonna give that one more attempt. Like I have to actually put them to sleep though. If I don't, it doesn't count. I need to test this sleep effect here and see if it's worth it. If he actually stays asleep for an extended period of time, that's fantastic. Everything worked out and my plan is like successful. If not, then we just have to go right back to <clears throat> the original strategy, which is just getting good and winning, which is terrifying. All right, out. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Don't do it, bro. Not get hit for a little bit. Be awesome. Okay, he. Hit, what's he? What's he gonna do? He is staying asleep. I must have woken him up then. Uh oh. No! That's gonna hurt me too. Tail swipe. Okay, are you gonna stay asleep too? Okay. I guess I messed something up last time then. come over here yeah this is gonna be great now but I don't know how long it lasts so he's still asleep guys he is still asleep Oh god, I'm so dead. That's okay, that hurt really bad. Dodge, he knew I was gonna try and heal. 
Popo. One, two. He's back. I think he's back. Yep, he's back. Uh, okay. So let me back away over here. Now, it's not going to be... This is not going to be the attempt I win, but I will win soon. Okay, I need you to stay away, please. Sir, back away. If I could find a better way to deal this sleep effect, that'd be grand. Oh gosh. Lovely. Nice combo that I got staggered and then hit by the black flame that I was actually had my eye out on. Okay, no worries. This isn't going to be too bad. Oh, it looks like the, uh, the good old green screen showing up because the lighting keeps changing outside. I love that. Let's fix that real quick. Super annoying. I hate when that does that. It'll probably keep doing that throughout the day as we, as the sun figures out what the hell it's doing. Alright, sweet. Let's go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I still think, though, that instead of wearing items that enhance the faith, Man, I don't know. It's a, it's a very tough decision to make. Very tough. Where do I go for more damage? I don't know. Still thinking through it. I don't know how many runes I have. Oh, <laughs> not enough. Not nearly enough. Okay. I was like, because then I could actually go in and uh, try and level up my faith. Have it to where it's at like 14 or whatever. Hmm. How much do I need to level at this point anyways? 40,000 runes. Okay, so it's not that cheap. And this is boosting my strength and the charge attacks. Okay. I think we're all right. We'll have to use what we have for now. I'm going to use those lighter attacks to apply the sleep effect. And then once the sleep effect takes effect, <laughs> I'm going to then use the charge attacks to wake him up. So we're going to go for the fat guy first so we can get him out of the way. Ouch. Love getting attacked through the wall. That's my favorite. Alright. But he woke up because I hit him right after. Okay, so I screwed that up. So it's like four hits, I guess. Let me try that again. And I thought if I was staying next to that tummy of his, I wouldn't get hit. Dodge, Lord. Okay. All right, we're gonna back away. I think I'm probably gonna get stabbed by the skinny one. Okie dokie, that was scary. I think with each subsequent sleep attempt or whatever, it's gonna he's gonna have a little bit more resistance built in. That's fine. Oh, lovely. Okay, he should be asleep. Go away. Now I'm dead. But I think that as long as I don't hit him that extra time, he should stay asleep. He's got that sleep effect above him now. So, that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm just getting in an extra hit, which is it's actually really sensitive. If you get in one extra hit, which I'm usually using my R1 combo, that will actually deactivate the sleep effect. That is a very, very sensitive effect. I had no clue. The 
but that's fine. Alright, let's go towards the fat dude. Very nice. Very nice. That's like four hits, pretty much. Alright, so let's go back behind this thing. I am going to flask up. <laughs> okay. That was terrifying. Oh, you know what? Does it really make sense to change it? Or do I just keep it? I don't know yet. Quit attacking me. Nice. So I'm gonna have to be actually play the game good. So I think he probably stays asleep for what? Like maybe, let's say a minute. So that gives me a minute to then put this other one to sleep and then attack him with a bunch of charged attacks. A bunch of heavy charged attacks. Yeah, I think we got, we're just gonna keep with this torch. I could look to see and compare the different stats, of course. I guess there's no reason to not do that. It feels like this one deals more fire damage, and I don't know if it has because of better scaling and dexterity and faith or what, but I believe so. Alright, here goes. Let's just win, shall we? Four hits to put his ass to sleep. Okay. And you, sir. That was one hit. Three hits. I missed. He'll be going to sleep as well. I'll let him go to sleep. I'm going to do a bunch of charge attacks right here on his back. change to phase two. This will be my favorite attack right here. I'll be able to get in some light attacks. He's gonna go back to sleep. Oh, I stunned him now. This might work. Now the big boy's asleep again. I'll wake again. That's okay. Much better off than we've been, though. I'll tell you that much. We'll just wait. We'll wait to keep him or move him over here. Come on, big guy. You need to come over here. Come here, noble. You big noble bastard. Okay, thank you. Over here. Over here the left. Thank you. Now I'm going to kill your friend. Dodge. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. if I can put him to sleep now. That would be the perfect time to try whenever he's summoning his friend. So I am going to not miss out on that opportunity again. Good 
Very nice. We put him to sleep. Yay, my plan's working. All right, come on, genius. I was expecting the flame, but I didn't get it. This guy just doesn't want to go to sleep. He is not going to sleep. There you go. Back away. That's the most damage we've ever done. That is incredibly exciting. All right, we're gonna stay with the the small one actually. Oh my goodness gracious! We can still die very easily here for making a mistake, like so. If we get hit by two fireballs in the face, you know that always always helps. Back away. Dodge. I need to use the columns, but man, oh man, did the skinny one just do his work all too well. I should have punished there, but unfortunately I got punished. I got a little bit too afraid of that fireball. I've been getting punished by these fireballs, which I should never really have happen. I could die here. Alright, that was very close. Oh, here's a column. I've been looking for you. Alright, last flask, it's fine. We're getting better. We're getting better. Nice, that hurt really bad. Okay. Please stay asleep. Nope, I woke him up on accident. And I activate his phase two. We're just totally screwed now. Oh, I died anyway. That's fine. We got him down below 50%. That was excellent. That was excellent. We definitely got this in the bag. It's just a matter of uh, balancing that out. So I say we just really focus on until we get them down to maybe like a lower percentage. We focus on the skinny ones. And then whenever the fat one is summoning the skinny one, then we'll go back in and put him to sleep instead. But I think it's about four hits. So I was getting a little aggressive there. Slashing away like crazy. We'll avoid that next time. Alright, so I'm so glad that I ended up defeating Commander Neal. Even though it's been an absolute disaster, the Godskin duo is going to go down today. not going to be able to punish that. We'll go ahead and dodge. Very nice. I think I actually woke him up there. Very silly of me. For the second, it seems like it's almost random. How quickly you can put them to sleep. There should be one column left over here. Very nice. I'm going to take it. We have eight flasks left. There we go. 
go. Barely dodged the big guy. And these guys are just flinging black flames like it ain't nothing. Okay, very nice. They're trying to heal punish the mess out. Okay, so as soon as this one tries to summon, that's not going in. I'm not going to even try and attack him otherwise. Only when he tries to summon his friend. Oh! I'll do that. You are mean bastard. Try and summon. Okay. One, two, three, four. Go to sleep. Alright, so he's asleep. This is great. Nice, let's wait for that. Thank you. This is the one that never wants to go to sleep. He's dead. That's okay. Got a little aggressive there. Should have just kept my distance. But yeah, that's going to be great. So as soon as they try to summon their friends, that's when I go in for the fat one. So that way his health remains intact. I don't actually want him to ever get into phase two if I can help it. So for me, in that first round where I put him to sleep and I got him pretty low, that was a bit too much. All right, here goes. We got this, guys. I'm so excited now. We finally figured out a strategy. I knew that... They're so susceptible to sleep. So that was really the only thing I could think of. Malekith's going to be a real pain, though. Phase 1. But it's fine. It's fine. to punish that's okay there you go I wait for the big guy I can circle him around this way you come over here big guy very nice that's not bad I mean, it's not bad at all he's pissed which is great Fat guy hit me through the wall. I love that. Absolutely love it. They're gonna be cheap now that we have a strategy. That's just bound to happen. So we're just going to be careful here. Try and use the columns. I hope they can re remain intact for a period. I think that'll destroy it. Yeah, any one of his black flame attacks will destroy the columns. Which is unfortunate. Okay, that was scary. I thought I was going to get hit right in the face. You guys are crazy. Four flasks left, so this is definitely not one of our better attempts at all. Three flasks left. I got kind of sandwiched between the fat one and this one many times in their different attacks. This one never wanted to go back to sleep. There he goes, doing his thing. Alright, 
one flask left. Not good for us being this early on. That's okay, though. As soon as he tries to summon, we'll try and put him to sleep. Next time, we won't get hit as much. No, I woke him up. Black flame to the back. That's all right. <clears throat> Let me check something. Does this deal any damage? Let me see. I don't think it does. I think that just potentially increases the chances of like you inflicting sleep, but I don't think it deals any damage. I don't think it deals any damage at all. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. He tried. He surely tried. dealing damage after we put him to sleep so the key is just to inflict the sleep effect and then we can focus on damage later let's see I lost my lock on it's because the fat one's in the way as per usual I woke him up. I woke him up. I messed that up. That's okay, though. It's so easy, so I need to just maybe count the number of attacks. What's up, Quisador? How you doing, friend? Oh, that was terrible. I jumped right into that attack. Oh, nice. Nice moves. Oh, lovely. The fat one and the uh, the skinny one, when they're together like that, it's just a mess. I'm just getting impatient because I'm like desperately trying to put him to sleep, but it's fine. it's fine. Now, at least we know we can do it today because we have the St. Trina's Torch. We defeated Commander Nial, uh Torch only, so that we could get to the a uh, access to the Halig Tree of the Consecrated Snowfields. And then we upgraded our St. Trina's Torch to plus 10. So I think now we've got a strategy. We, as long as we are patient and execute it, we should be fine. I gotta count how many. I'm gonna do jumping attacks instead and see how many it takes. All right. You, sir, need to stop. How are you today? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Alright, that was a heavy a jumping attack and a light attack. I'm gonna go ahead and flask up right here. Nice. I missed that jumping attack, it's okay. I wanna count how many jumping attacks it takes to put this guy to sleep. But he's not really giving me a good chance to test it out. So I'm having to use R1s as well. Here's a jumping attack for ya. Alright, now I need the fat one to come over here. I 
hate having my back to him, but it is what it is. We have the skinny one in phase two. We'll dodge that black flame. How are you doing today, Quizzer? Hope you're doing awesome. We'll go ahead and sprint away from this. He's gonna destroy probably two columns. Yep, that's unfortunate. That's okay though. It happens. Doing good, good. Glad to hear it. Let me go ahead and flask up. Not sure what you're doing, buddy. One, and then two. Oh, he still got me. I should have jumped in towards him. We'll have to flask up again. Sprint away from this. Watch for the fat one. Oh my gosh, that fat one's really annoying me. But we have a specific time where we're going to put him to sleep, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll just have to deal with uh, those little punches, those little hits. However cheap they may be. Please go away. That fat guy is so annoying. Oh my gosh, okay. We're gonna go continue going for the skinny one. Let's see here. Strength and spot. Okay, good. Very, very nice. We dodged it. We didn't get hit by that. All right, we're gonna go downstairs, do the same thing, and except I'm not gonna get hit nearly as as much. I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit more patient too. I'm just so excited that I can put them to sleep now with this torch that I'm just so desperate. Like I'm so like eager to to see that effect, but it's fine. We have a strategy, let's just stick with it. See those hits. Ridiculous. He normally doesn't. Oh, there you go. See, like another, <laughs> another excellent combo from the god skin guy. I'm dead. <clears throat> I was backed up against the column. He never really does those attacks. Usually he does like a a one, two, and then a slam, and that's what I was trying to bait. But unfortunately, he baited me instead. So we're gonna run down here. Try and execute the strategy. I think it was like the first or second attempt. We got him down to like 25%, which was great. The best we'd ever done but I was actually I damaged the the fat one a bit too much and he activated his phase too so that's when I learned okay we got to keep got to keep his health intact as much as possible so he's very aggressive in this round the fat one so got to be careful I don't want to uh around myself. But that's I can still get hit by those little fireballs. It's so annoying. Alright, come on. That one trying to do all kinds of stuff. He's always very sneaky. That's gonna hurt. Fortunately, he got stuck in between the skinny one. That usually does not happen. Here. He's doing his charge attack and a black flame. I think 
think I woke him up. That sucks. Now he's in phase two. That's all right. Back away. Nice range. this column left to protect me while I flask up. I'm gonna back away here. Reposition. See if I can separate this duo. Deactivate his sleep again, but it's really hard to see when his head's a mile away. There you go. Flask up again. have two flasks left and we haven't even destroyed the one uh, apostle just yet so not the best attempt but we're working on it we got to be more consistent with our successful attempts Once he tries to summon his friend, that's when we'll go ahead and try and put him to sleep. It should be four hits, but, you yeah, know, it's not very consistent. We'll watch for his left hand to raise up. There you go. He's asleep, now he's out of the way. But we have to take on, like, I don't know how many other god skin apostles at this point without any heals. Trying to bait some attacks here. There you go, he should go to sleep now. Get in some charge attacks. Very nice. We'll stay at a range here. So we could just pull that off a little bit sooner. That'd be fantastic. Uh oh. Big boy's awake again. Takes about a minute for it to wear off. Sprinting away, staying out of range. Now we just need to separate the big boy again. He's he's pissed because he he missed out on some of the action. Oh, nice. I was afraid that the uh, Godskin Nova was going to be doing something, and he was just charging up a black flame. Actually, by the time I was dead, so he wasn't even doing anything. But unfortunately, I lost uh, track of the, what the skinny one was doing, and that really quick uppercut attack got me. Alright, the goal is to minimize the number of flasks and the damage that we take up front so that we can go ahead and uh, save them for that phase whenever we can alternate having the fat one asleep and the skinny one awake. 
we're gonna get him now. Commander Nial Torch only was probably one of my favorite fights. Crazy range. I have to say, the nobles are definitely the enemies I hate the most now. Especially after this. Keeps doing his charge attack. Like why? I had to dodge one of those things. Unfortunately, I made the wrong decision there. I was either gonna get black flamed in the face or slammed in the face. Go through it, fool. Flasks there, so again, kind of use a lot of flasks already, about five or six. I don't know how I did dodge that. <clears throat> it's really strange how inconsistent the, uh, the sleep effect is. Sometimes it's a number of, you know, you can count the number of hits, and then other times it's, it's not that at all. So I wonder why that's random, or if there's a way to make it more consistent. I truly don't understand that mechanic. Not yet. Because even, like, say, for example, if it says Frost 102, which I have on my, my current, well, on my first playthrough, it takes, like, two hits to get it, right? But so with some enemies, depending on, I guess, their damage negation maybe that's what changes the effects but if it's the same enemy you would think it always be the same number of hits but it hasn't been consistently There's four hits okay that's four four r1s Big bastard is so annoying. It covers way too much ground. And he stabbed so far through his friend, he could have grabbed me if I was just an inch closer. Activate his phase two. Alright, come on, fat guy. I already know you're gonna get in the way. Come over here. You're gonna make me miss out on my damage opportunities. Dang it, dang it. That was actually pretty decent, except that fat guy, man. I just can't even believe how annoying he is. His his range is so long, and uh, his tracking is incredibly annoying, too. I want to put him to sleep, but at the same time, I don't, because if I do, 
It only lasts for a very temp very short period of time, so I need to only use it whenever the new ones get summoned in, and then just keep that cycle up. So if not, if I try putting him to sleep too often, he'll have way too much damage taken, and then he'll end up getting into phase two, so we don't want that to happen. We don't want that. There he is. He's being super aggressive. He's already sprinting towards us. because I don't like where they're at right now. They're both very close, and the fat one's being pretty aggressive in this match, so I definitely need to keep my distance if at all possible. Let's see. Either wait for him to finish out a full combo, or just uh, die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Circle around here and flask up. That was close. Skinny one's gonna go to sleep, so let's bring the fat one over here. Come on, big guy. What are you doing? skinny one. He's going to be a lot more aggressive now that he's all black flamed out, which is fine. Lost my lock on there. That was annoying. One, two, strikes there as well. We can just stay out of the range. There you go. Couldn't really punish as much as you wanted to. That's okay, though. You gotta be patient. Devastating. We're gonna reposition here. Dodge the black flames. Alright, I'm gonna flask up just for safety. That one and the skinny one to separate. But they're a bit too close. Very nice. There, wait for him to summon his friend. Got 
Come on, put your left hand up, please. Very nice. Two hits for the skinny one. That was very reckless. the sleep effect. That's okay, though. Still easier to fight one at a time. <laughs> He's gonna wake up before long, though. And two. Okay, let's go ahead and reposition. Dodge this. We still have five flasks, which is better than we've had. We're gonna back away from that AoE. Dodge this uh, flame right there. Dodge the flame. All right. That's okay. We need to back away now. We have four flasks left. I'm gonna keep our distance here. That one's coming in aggressively, so I need to reposition. Very nice. I need to flask up when I get a chance. Three flasks left. I wasn't sure what was going on there, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep my distance here. It was hard for me to see. I wasn't sure which attack uh, he was picking, so I need to just retreat. Reposition. That's okay. We have one flask left. Not as many as I'd like. That's okay, though. There you go. Now, he probably will not fall asleep as easily as last time, so... We gotta be very careful here with this next phase. Took five hits this time. Oh gosh. That was terrifying. He almost got me there. We don't have any flasks left. Punish there. Poorly timed, <coughs> poorly timed dodge. One more big hit and we're toast. <coughs> Let's see if we can inflict sleep here. 
trying to bait some attacks, but this guy is... He's stonewalling me. I got greedy. I got greedy. I was trying to inflict a sleep on him. It's just so strange how many attacks that one took, and he still didn't go to sleep. <clears throat> That's very confusing to me. I don't understand why that is. Considering it's the same enemy, so you'd imagine they're going to have the same resistances or whatever. So I'm anticipating, okay, four hits, right? But maybe that's that's not what it seems to be. The fat one's been consistently at four hits or so if I do the R1, so I'm going to keep doing that. But maybe there's also kind of like there's a blood, a blood meter. Maybe there's a, a sleep meter as well. And if I don't hit them fast enough, maybe that's what happens. Who knows? Who knows? That was a really good attempt, though. I got hit by that uh, knight through the fog gate. That's that's pretty annoying. Not a lot you can do there, though. All right. Go ahead and flask up. Sprint away here, reposition. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Back away. Surprised he didn't destroy two columns by doing that. Broke his sleep, that's my bad. It's really hard to gauge that whenever his body or his head so far away. Inquisitor, I am gonna read what you said in just one moment. Just gonna not die. I think that I read somewhere that enemies build a resistances after each bleed. Yeah. You pro so they're harder to proc. Yep, I know that. So like that's why I knew like on the second attempt for the fat one's gonna take more than four hits. But it's just inconsistently been like three, four hits or whatever. Even on the brand new uh, Godskin Apostle, even that one takes a little bit more than just the first one. The first one's usually about four to six hits. The second one it, it takes forever to proc. So I'm like, why is that? That's gotta hit you. <clears throat> That's fine. I killed one of them. Haha. -ha. But yeah, any subsequent attempt to proc the same effect, it does have increased resistances. But on the first one, like I'm saying, on, on Godskin Apostle number one, I can get probably four to six hits, he gets proc. On the new one that comes in after he, the fat one spawns in the new one, it's, I mean, it can be ten hits. So I don't know, I think the frequency or how quickly you attack them also counts. Because there must be a meter. <laughs> and I wish you could see the meter, that'd be really nice. But you cannot. There should be a talisman that shows you the meters, that'd be neat. Alright, that one's being aggressive this round, we know that. Look at him. Already doing his charge attacks. This is definitely one where I want to put the fat one to sleep, but I can't. Gotta stick with the strategy. That way we can get consistent here. He 
He is incredibly aggressive this round. Black flame in the back, that's fine. We'll back away from your first attack. Very good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reposition. Flask up. What the hell happened there? I couldn't, uh, <laughs> couldn't hit. That was scary. I tried doing my jumping attack, and I was like, well, I might have run out of stamina. I didn't even check it. All right, come on, big guy. I need you to get stuck behind a column or something while I kill your friend. I'm going to go ahead and flask up. got some good range to it. Not nearly as much range as that one AoE attack that I think is the worst attack in his entire arsenal. That one right there. Fortunately, we were able to dodge both of those flurries, and that one too, <laughs> those two. The melee flurry and the black flame from earlier is what I was referring to, but hey. One, two. takes from the Godskin Noble. Two pokes. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my gosh. Came in kind of at a different angle there and <laughs> I bumped into him. Whoops. Thank you, Mr. Godskin Noble. It's just what I needed. Couldn't get greedy there. I'd have loved to hit him more than twice, but wasn't happening. We'll go ahead and reposition. I hate the Godskin though, he's the worst. Absolute worst. Come on, attack me. This is 
as I attack, then I'm gonna get fucked. Keep my eye on both of these kids. We're going to go ahead and reposition again. Hydrate. I will hydrate in just a moment. So getting my ass destroyed by these black flames here. One and then two. Very nice. Use guys. They're everywhere. I was expecting the black flame, but I'm glad I dodged it, too. Okay, I gotta get this guy way the hell over here so I can do my thing. For a big guy, he, he, he definitely covers some ground. I will redeem that hydrate in just one moment. I just need this fat guy to do what he's told. Summon your friend. You want to do it. I know you do. One, two, three, four. All right. Six flasks left. We'll put this one to sleep as well. We'll probably do his little introductory attack. One and then two. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, okay. I try. That was scary. Big guy still asleep. He's awake now. Oh goodness, we have six flasks left. <clears throat> Big guy's coming in very aggressively. He is just come. Look at him. He's like sprinting at me. Oh. Okay, that was scary. He just did his little twirl. He didn't actually extend, which is great, because that would have been so bad if he did. Why is the God Skin Noble so pissed? Like, come on. I feel like he gets jealous because I put him to sleep. He missed out on some of the action, so... Okay, all of our columns are destroyed now. It's no good. He 
He's going to come all the way through. Very nice. He's going to try and heal punish. Nice. I always commend my enemies for that was a good that was a good combo, I'm not gonna lie. We'll back away from that. There he is again coming in super aggressively. This guy's a monster. To sprint out of range here. I can't really punish that because the fat one's a little bit too close. Look at him go. He can cover some ground. Thought I heard a black flame coming my way. Oh, I'm going to get hit right in the face. Lovely. Completely lost the benefit of healing there. Alright. Need you over here, big guy. See if we can punish this. Very nice. Missed. I missed. See, I've hit him I don't know how many times in pretty rapid succession as well. There you go. But the other one's waking up already, so I gotta get pretty aggressive here. I'm gonna go ahead and flask up as soon as I get to the opposite side of the map here. That would have been so nice to be able to get my four hit combo on him. The big guy is coming in really aggressive again. No! And he's still doing it. I'm, I'm gonna just take my time. I'm not going to rush this because I only have one heal left and the fat one's just aggressively trying to get in a charge attack. I can just feel it. That's my last flask. All right. Jeez Louise. Yay, I dodged it. That was terrifying. Especially since he started casting it when I was so close. Get away, Noble. I cannot believe how quickly he's moving. Like, why are you moving fast? Maybe because, in general, the boss phase is in, you know, second half of the life? I don't know. Dodge, very nice. That could have been bad.
I would normally have tried to punish that, but the positioning of the fat one is just not ideal, so. One more hit and I'm dead. I could take another black flame, though. I didn't realize that the god skin noble was going to be so passive during that. He was so close, so I thought his, he was going to be very aggressive, but he opted for peace. I got greedy. I tried to kill him. So I could only hit in, fit in those four hits, but I was trying to go for a fifth. That's the best attempt so far. Here's your hydration redemption. Ten minutes later. Alright, let's do this. Lovely. We were so close. We still need to save more flasks, though. We shouldn't be taking that much damage. Alright. Oh my. <laughs> Almost ran right into that one. Normally love to punish that, but the fat one's too close. Keeping my eye on the big boy. I tried, tried dodging that, but unsuccessfully. Oddly there, I missed a bunch of opportunities to attack him when I was trying to hit him. He was in certain animations where during his strikes, he was really hard to hit. So, um, missed a bunch of opportunities there with the R1s. Yo, God, that was close. The path to these guys is terrible. These guys are terrible. It's like, man, I can't wait till I'm past this. They can hit you through the fog gates. That's also amazing. Terrible start. I shouldn't got hit by that though. Totally dead. Yeah. Panic rolled in the middle of that combo. That was kind of a bad start. I, I take that back. I take that back. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Slash right in the back. Now you know it's going to be a good run whenever I have to burn a heal by entering, upon entering the freaking fog gate, right? You know it's going to be good. So why does it stop? I think, I think maybe because I accidentally deplete all the stamina. I don't know why it stops. I stopped sprinting for some reason. I 
really love these columns. I'm gonna find a way to keep them intact as much as possible in phase two because they can attack over them relatively easily, so it gets really scary. I got greedy. We're now in phase two. Two black flames for the price of one. We'll back away from this. He probably is going to destroy this column in the process, yeah? I expect it as much. All kinds of combos coming at us. I don't know how I didn't wake him up. Oh, I did. Bruh. Very nice. We're going to back away. Reposition. Dodge. Okay. We still have nine flasks. I'm not terrible. Not too terrible, anyways. One, and then the second attack right there. Back away from that, back away. I am gonna get stuck, no, I'm not. <clears throat> Be positive. Even when in the face of the Godskin duo. One, okay, very nice. Big charge attack. Attack number two from that one, okay, very nice. Dodge the Black Flame. Dodge the black flame. One, two, very nice. Just sprint away here, reposition. Get stabbed in the back. This guy. So I think phase two, even the, the surviving party, starts, starts moving faster. Please hit him. I don't even care. I killed the, the skinny one. I get staggered, so every second I'm taking a tick damage, I'm stag I can't even attack or do anything. So I'm like, what do I do there? What do you do there? Other than take as many with you as you can. So funny because the AI for those knights changes as well, like every time. Right now he's doing his, oh I'm going to act silly and do a, a straight lunging attack. Other times he'll charge his, his uh, storm sorceries or ash of war, it's just crazy. You never know what to expect. Charge attack already, from the fat one. Back away. I'm telling you, the Godskin Noble's an absolute pain in the ass. goes again, doing his thing, stabbing people. You could come over here. That'd be cool. There you go. I don't care if I get hit. <clears throat> Get him to phase two, very nice. Now we can start tearing up the joint. You can barely see him, man. Eh? 
I'm gonna try and reposition so I can flash up. Back away, stay out of range here. Avoid those attacks. Dodge the black flame. Let's go into this one. Ah, I messed it up. I interrupted his sleep. That's okay, though. I sprint away from this. That's madness. That was a very nice throw, Mr. Noble. <clears throat> it's not gonna work. Very nice. Good combo. Need to reposition, and then I can flask up. I haven't destroyed the first Godskin Apostle yet, so that's a bummer. Four flasks left. for the big guy to try and summon his friend. We'll get four hits in. Need to watch his left hand. Very nice. Oh! Got greedy there. That's my bad. That's fine. I, I already stunned him. Might as well just go for it. Might as well go for it. One. Two. Sprint away. I don't know where the hell the big one's at. Big boy still over there, that's good. Nice. He came in with a uh, nice swing it. Fortunately, he has plenty of health, so he's not gonna turn into phase two any second now, any moment at all, not even close. Which is great. We only have one flask left, so that is kind of low. I was hoping to be punished there. I wasn't. Nice throw. Alright, I think it's five hits for this second phase. The fat guy is very consistent. Skinny one, not so much. Raise your hand above thine head. Dead. So it is five hits. <clears throat> On the second, four on the first, five on the second. <clears throat> but I just got too greedy. I have an idea though. Every time he's summoning, <clears throat> I can have him summon as far away from the dragon head as possible. So there's a few things I'm gonna have to take into effect. That's fine. We're learning as we're figuring this out. So as we're just experiencing or experimenting. We're getting better and better ideas, so pretty much the best thing to do would be for him to summon his friend as far as possible. That way whenever I can actually engage with the one enemy, it'll, I'll be as far as possible from the other one. So, 
And that way, whenever he does wake up, he still has a, a little journey ahead of him. I didn't know where the fat one went. We're gonna dodge behind this column right here, this pillar, whatever the hell you want to call it. Flask up here. <clears throat> I put him to sleep. Alright, I'm thinking, um, I think I want to go ahead and change out one of my talismans so I can get that increased damage again as well. Oh yeah, that's right, but I'm going to be medium load. Why am I medium? Is this torch heavier or something? Why is this a heavier torch? Or is it this that's heavier? Thinking. <clears throat> that's 10% damage I'm missing out on. This is heavy for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why the blue dancer charm is the heaviest charm I have. It has to do with lights, light attacks. Like, what kind of craziness is that? All right, we're taking off the bracers for now. Need that increased attack damage. I have the charge attacks as well. A few other things on our person. Would you get more damage if you went naked because of the blue charm? I don't know if it, you know, that's an excellent question. I think that it's just based off of the fact that are you light, medium, or heavy? But if it could potentially be based off the ratio of your weight, your true percentage, I don't know. But that's fine. As long as I can get the 10%, I'm good. Because I want to do a little bit more damage. The thing is, I'm just getting hit so much. Taking way too much damage on the earlier phases. I need you over here, big boy. It's just so hard to, to manage both of these guys. Like, these guys are rough. Very difficult to fight. He's probably going to do something stupid. I can feel it already. So it's just three charge attacks there, unless I stun him. That wasn't a bad phase. So he's turning into phase two already. Not bad. Very good. Oh. Very good. I survived. Yeah, so when the life bar is under 50%, the big guy does start running around as opposed to just walking. Definitely notice that difference here. I broke his focus, that's okay. I still have protection, I'll still be able to get in a few hits. Now, I need to get far away from the dragon head. Where the hell is the dragon head? Okay, good. This is where we want to be. One, two, three, 
four. Oh, why would you still do an attack? I hate that. Yep. This has been the most frustrating boss fight so far. It's taken me like three streams. He even had to go kill D Commander Nial just to be able to have a chance. Those delays get me every time. I was hoping he would do that. Oh, uh, if, I, if I hit him too much, it completely stuns, uh, which, uh, removes the effect. I didn't know that. Now I do, though. So if you hit him one or two times, you'll just break that effect, but at least they'll still sit down and go through the animation. They'll just wake right back up. I see. One, two. That guy's probably waking. Yep, I don't know where the hell he was at. Had no clue he was that close. Big one's getting aggressive. That'll be five hits this time. Okay. Shouldn't have taken my hand off the controller. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, wait. Uh, I need you away from the dragon. Come here. Nope. Whatevs, bro. Two flasks. Come on. Friend's gonna wake up any second now if he's not already. See, why aren't you going to sleep? I don't get it. I hit him so many times. Maybe what happens is, since the bosses share a, they share a health bar, maybe that's also adding to their resistance because I'm hitting that one so many times like that's just ridiculous how many times I'm hitting them that's the only thing I can think of there's no way that that third or whatever Godskin duo has that much resistance so it has to be that it's because they're sharing a bar so I don't know and maybe it's pretty much assuming that that's the same Godskin duo at least from the mechanics perspective and it's saying hey like, you've already put this same Godskin duo person to sleep three times, right? Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. But I, I can't. I don't know how else to justify that. It's just ridiculous. I saw the fat guy and I took the chance. All 
Alright, he's not nearly in phase 2 yet, but we still got some decent damage off of him at least. Alright, he's entering phase 2. What the hell's going on there? Very nice. Go ahead and flask up again. That wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. I don't know where the dragon head is, so I think we're on the right side, the correct side. Yep. Shit. <clears throat> okay. That'll have to work. See if we can bait some favorable strikes here. Hate that combo. That's okay though. He does follow up with it occasionally, so that's what he did there. Ah, I hit him. Especially if they're mid combo. I feel like that wakes them up for sure. Alright, let's just reposition for now. Waiting for you to do something smart, big guy. Destroying the columns. Can't punish that one because the Godskin Noble's far too close. Dead. I knew going in aggressively, I was going to regret that. Seven flasks left, too. That's a shame. I hate dying with flasks. Oh, now we got a stupid... The lighting is so ridiculous. And my green screen is just like, what the hell? Let's try that again. Oh, we're just leaving myself off for now because the light's crazy. I'm not even going to mess with it. Okay. <clears throat> Time to focus. We got to pull this off.
fat lizard guy can come over here. It'd be great. Calling all fat lizard men. Okay, the skinny one's in phase two. That was like perfectly timed. Him to throw that fireball and the second one to do that twirl attack. They do that sometimes. Perfectly sync up attacks. Come over here. Over here. <clears throat> the noble needs to come to this side. I need to sprint away. We'll use some columns for our protection here. If it is a jumping attack, that'd be nice. That's okay too, I guess. If he can come over here, that'd be better. The further away he is, the better. There you go. I want him to keep coming this way, if possible. As far into the corner as he can. One, two, three, four. He's asleep. I don't know why I do that. Ridiculous. Wasting flasks. Shouldn't use any of those flasks. I got hit because I'm just trying to be aggressive and take advantage of the fat one going to sleep, but don't know that's the best way to do it. Fat guy's back up. Five flasks left. We use six flasks in like 30 seconds. We'll use another flash just to top off. That was scary. I got hit by his belly. I'm gonna sprint away. We only have three flasks left. Had a great start and then we ended up taking <clears throat> so much damage on a phase one god skin apostle. Two flasks left. Very nice. 
guys. That one's just spamming, I see. Nice. Gotta use these flasks. Gotta sprint away though. Hopefully we won't die. Very nice. No heal punish. We last our we use our last two flasks, which is fine. We just took so much damage in those later phases. I guess without the column he can definitely attack almost all the way through, so that's just gonna require a little bit more distance. Back away. Nice. You got me. Two hours in. We gotta get these guys today. I, I can't emotionally, I can't keep fighting these assholes. I am tired of it. I was just seeing which charms I had equipped. Just curious. Still trying to figure out the best thing to do. couldn't sprint backwards for whatever reason. I kept trying and then it started and then it stopped. I was like, okay. I never let go of circle. So here I thought maybe it was my controller. Other than the stick drift, maybe it wasn't my controller. Maybe there's some other mechanics I'm understanding there because when I'm locked on like that, it's like it's real tight. Like it doesn't want to unlock on. You know, like, because when you're locked onto an enemy like so, you can sprint away from them. But I wasn't able to do that this time. Oh, I went the wrong way. Their armor looks so great. Yes, yes. Burn my ashes to ashes. All right. Let's try that again. I'm gonna fix the the lighting situation here in a little bit. So you guys can see the frustration on my face. Do 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 This is just a tough fight. Yep. All right, perfect. Let me fix the lights.
Okay. Fixed. Let's try this again, shall we? This is a very frustrating boss fight. I never imagined it'd be this difficult, but at least we have a better strategy than before. for the fat one. Did you over here? Actually, you come over here. How did you cover so much ground? The big guy. Light on his feet. Very nice. Good combo. Pretty much a normal window for me to attack. He ended up actually countering that with that black flame. Very nice. And that's why I hate him. He's an excellent fighter. Watch the fat one. Dodge through this, which is good here. Dodge too early. A freaking flame is gonna be the death. Alright, big boy, I need you over here. Further away this time, because somehow you're able to close all that ground. Come on. Wasting my buff window. Alright, here we go. So we're going to do everything we can to get in some strikes. Jump, fool. I think there's an intact column over here. Very nice. We'll flask up behind it. Alright, where is the dragon head? Behind me. Okay, so I need him. I need you over here. Dodge. I need him to summon his friend from over here. That way he can be as far as possible whenever he comes to. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. Dodge away. Keep some distance here. Should have punished that, it's okay. He's in phase two, it's okay. Big guy still asleep. Let's 
sprint away. Oh gosh, the big guy's back awake. He has joined the festivities. I need you over here, big guy. I feel like he walks a lot faster already in the second part of it. Let me see. Yeah, he's over here sprinting around. Come this way to trick him. I think he's right next to me. Yep. Didn't quite trick him. He's gonna break two columns here. That's unfortunate. Three columns. Even worse. that as well. Dodge, baby. Okay, I was pounding on <laughs> that roll button. That's for sure. Very nice. We need to get away from the dragon. The further I can pull him, the better. We have three flasks left. That's not good. One, two, three, four. We have two flasks left. <sighs> Waiting for him to strike. Every time I'm impatient, I'm the one that gets punished, so I'm just gonna wait. Even if the other one wakes up, it's fine. I don't like you back there. <laughs> yeah, your friend's already awake. You're being sneaky. Fighting off in the corner like that. It's like he knew. He went for that prime positioning, too. Just to make sure I couldn't see his friend. I see what you're doing, Godskin Apostle. to heal up pretty aggressively here because if not, one hit can kill me. There you go. We have one flask left. Gonna back away again, reposition. Stay away from the big boy. <laughs> These guys are just in sync today. Look at him go. That was not good. He gets stuck up against those columns. But it will happen. 
he's now in phase two. I would have loved to punish that, but I'm not gonna be able to this time. Black flame attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and flask up. No more flasks left. Perfect. Would have loved to put him to sleep. That would have been amazing, but that's all right. One and then two. Very nice. sprinting around. This is all about repositioning now at this point. Because we don't have the columns to protect us from the projectiles, I have to make sure that one's kind of already engaged in a certain attack and the other one's just kind of hoping to capitalize on me moving like that. Very nice. I was backed into a corner there, so now I have to continue to reposition. Watch the skinny one, watch these easy attacks that can definitely rack up damage if we're not careful. One, two. See what he does. Very nice. Normally would have loved to punish that more, but I couldn't. Jump away. Watch for a black flame from the fat one, if possible. See, he would have been coming at me like crazy with that rapier, so I'm glad I repositioned. Uh, he's already closing the distance on me. Very nice. That could have been real bad. Dodge away. We are back up against the wall. Spatial awareness is huge here. Even the Godskin Noble's moving in pretty aggressively and fast, so we gotta be careful. That's alright. Minimize the damage. That could have been really bad. Could have been really bad. Perfect. That's the attack we want. No! <laughs> I got stabbed by the fat guy. I was being pretty aggressive considering I didn't have any heals, but that's okay. That's alright. If I can save like two or three for that last part, that's, that's a done deal. But I can't get hit by things like that. <laughs> Before even entering the boss fight, you get these crazy banished knights. They have all kinds of attacks in their arsenal. I hear the knights, the pitter-patter of the knights' feet.
much and all that as aggressively as possible. Trying to deal some damage early, but also not use so many flasks. I had to use one because of our little banished knight friend, but that's okay. If I can pull this fat guy over here, the noble, that would be ideal. Come here, please. I did just, oh, I, I was like, did he just wake up his friend? Come here. You're way too far. That boy can cover some ground. I've told you many times, he's like a lineman. Forgot to do a charge back there. We'll just reposition here. Oh, I wish they had friendly fire on. That'd be ideal. It's okay. Flask up. Keep our eye on the little one. I jumped a bit too early there. And I jumped a bit too early there. That was a decent start, but that's all it takes to make a decent start bad. He's doing this thing now. They always change it up. After the god skin do, I think we have Malakath. <laughs> Which is gonna be phase one is gonna be terrible. But after that, then who do we have? Gideon Ofnir. Some other good friends. Godfrey again. Horlo. Too bad. Phase two. Go ahead and sprint out of range, dodge the black and flame. I couldn't really see what the hell's going on there. Okay. The debris does throw me off. Sometimes the black flame will be cast when one's being destroyed and it's very tough. To see. I feel like he just cast when I couldn't even see it. It's very possible.
died there. Oh, dead. <laughs> Almost died, and the black flame's lingering effect got me, and I died. I died for real. need any help with damage taken. It's always hard for me to dodge that because I'm going downstairs, so I uh, my timing's always off. Saint Trina's torch glows so nicely. where the fat one was. I wasn't even paying attention to him. So pretend he's not there. He'll go away. you away from the dragon anyways, because once I kill your friend, you're going to have to spawn a new one.
we're away from the dragon, which is great. I was going to be able to pull that off, it's okay. Big guy's coming in hot now. Would have normally punished that, but the fat guy was a little too close. Gotta sprint away from this as well keep our distance. We have two flasks left. It's a pretty decent position right now, but don't want to risk anything at this point. One, two. Nice. And we got killed by this big bastard again. Damn. We positioned ourselves so stupidly there. I should have backed away. I should have sprinted away. We could have had it there too with two flasks left. Damn it. Darn, darn, darn. That is so annoying. That was a good fight, though. But it was just one mistake is all it takes. And, um, see, at that second phase, if I'm ever left over with flasks, I definitely messed up there. Like, that's a huge mistake, you know? So, we had two flasks left. Alright, now the big guy's coming in really aggressive, so expect the worst. I'm curious. What I should do is see how many times it takes. So it should be four hits. Unless I die. And then after this I wonder how many hits will it take. Because I know it's five hits and then after that is it going to be like six or eight? I don't know. We're gonna find out though. It's important to find out because I might have to take him out in those second phase when he starts moving a lot faster. Didn't even see that.
So I wonder, how many hits is it going to take? <clears throat> It'll be five hits here, which is fine. I don't want him to get to half health, not even like 60%, because then he'll start roly poling around everywhere. That's five hits, so that's good. I know that, though. Phase one and phase two, he's very consistent, unlike his skinny counterpart. Flasks left. Once the fat one comes out, I am totally going to uh, wake him right back up. I'm just putting him right back to sleep. I mean, he's still sleeping good. Already, shit. Not good. It's not what I wanted at all, but that's fine. So he chained, I can't really tell, right around. I mean, it was almost like 75%. But I'd hit him quite a lot in that second. So you can only put him to sleep twice. So I gotta save those then. Here, so I can go ahead and uh, capitalize on him falling asleep a second time and pretty rapid succession which is nice
dragons over there so we can keep them over here. That's fine. Two. This strike, you really can't counter unless you're all up and close and it's really hard to not get hit by it. I'd prefer not to even try and attack when he's doing that. This one, just stay away. I'm going to sprint away as far as I can. If we can survive this, we have a chance. Alright. Let's finish this bro off. Oh! Nice move. Where's the dragon? Okay, the dragon's over here, so let's see if we can have him come over here instead. It'll take five hits to just put him to sleep this time. Oh gosh. Five. Nice. Alright, big guy's back. We cannot put him to sleep again because he will kill us. <laughs> so, he'll switch to phase two and that'll be the end of it. One flask left. combo again. He destroyed the column and then was able to capitalize on his black flame still, which normally would not have hit. This other column this is like the last column we have to protect us. Dodge these black flames.
nice. He's not attacking, so I'm not gonna bait it because the fat one's trying to close in on me. We have one more column. <clears throat> Very nice. I got greedy. But I didn't have much health either, so highly unlikely that would have been able to win that one. But it was close. Definitely close. Oof. He almost got me twice. All right, let's go down these steps. We're gonna do this again. I wonder if the fires of slumber actually helps increase how well they can go to sleep. Like, I don't know how that works exactly. No, okay. If it can attack into the column, that'd be nice. But those columns won't last forever. It doesn't deal damage, which could be a good thing. If it doesn't deal damage, then that means I could possibly put the fat one to sleep a third time. hit me on the complete opposite side 180 and I saw that even on the other <clears throat> the other column he had uh, done that same charge attack and he hit the vases even though they're 100% like completely on the other side <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to hug those columns anymore that's fine not commenting as much so I can just focus and beat this I've been doing this for like three streams or at least preparing in some way shape or form <clears throat> I gotta get through this
try it with the chemistry just to practice. Because <clears throat> it doesn't hurt them at all, it doesn't seem. He just attacks too quickly. Let's try again, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, this has been a tough one for sure. The most difficult fight with a torch only in this game. And even with this uh, St. Trina's torch, it's just been incredibly difficult. <clears throat> it is plus 10, so it's dealing the max amount of damage but it's really just not, I, I damage wise I could get it just if I was taking less damage it'd be much better because I'm using so many flasks early on it's kinda of putting me in a really bad spot see if I can reposition the big guy over here. He's thinking about it. Alright, here goes. Should have some clear opportunity to strike him. One, two, three. Dodged way too early there, it's okay. Phase two for the skinny one. columns there. Those black flames that come through those columns are so annoying, especially whenever he's throwing them and uh, <laughs> The skinny one just in the process of breaking. I'm like, seriously? What is the probability of that? Apparently, it's pretty high because it's happened several times. Still had a little bit of uh, life in it yet. And again, we've taken so much damage. We only have four flasks left. At this, it's kind of rough. Watch that left hand.
He extended that combo out a bit. He's going to do a black flame, but I'm not going to be able to punish. I'm stuck. Okay, that was terrible. Light attacks in here. Back away. Watch the fat guy. They are incredibly aggressive right now. Even the big one. in the face. <laughs> it's possible. It's just a matter of execution, which I'm just not able to pull it off just yet. But I'll get it. I just don't know how many attempts it's going to take. I've probably fought them, I'd say, a good 60 to 70 times, most likely. Very confident about that. I don't know how many it's actually been, though. But it doesn't matter. I just hope it's not that many more. Because after that, I mean, I just get, I get fatigued after losing so much. Like, I don't mind. Usually I don't mind, but man, like, it's been day after day. So it just really wears on you. And it messes with my focus, all that. Big guy over here. If I do this, oh, that could have been bad. Any minute now. I need him to actually commit. Love that attack whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm able to capitalize on or punish it, but man, that guy was a bit too close for my taste.
dodge too early there. Couldn't even get the first one down. We had 10 flasks, but we got hit so much with that last flurry. And that first one just didn't want to go down. Um, the fat one was in terrible positioning as well, so that made it rough. You know, I wonder if that, that sleep of slumber, what's it called? The fire of slumber? Man, that just doesn't really do what I want to do. Let's see, 222 plus 53, it's like, let's say 275. Plus another 125, it's like 444. I'm gonna get hit, it's fine. 240, that's 340, 440. So this one does a little bit more damage, but not much, okay. I bet. I, if I respect in the faith, that would definitely deal more damage. But I'm also then going to lose the scaling on the other stuff. It's just, I, the more I think of it, it's like, man, I, it's just me not performing or executing it right. Because the damage is going to be around the 400 mark anyways, even when it's like at its highest. When I'm like, but the thing is, I'm just taking too many hits. Like, I, I just, uh, I'm not playing very well. And because of that, I don't have the heals when I need them most. So it's, I think it's just a matter of like these guys, the funny thing is I was dealing like 700 damage I think to Commander Nial, but these guys have some incredible resistances. Um, but the problem really is just the fact that I'm just taking way too much damage. And it, it's, a, I've been close three times. But each of those times I didn't have any heals left over because I had that nasty uh, early phase, you know, so it's like, man, I just the execution, if I can, the thing that's going to allow me to pull it off is just not getting hit as much, not being greedy, waiting around a lot, and it's just not my play style, and that's why I've been, I haven't been adapting as I normally do, because it's like, I have to be incredibly cautious, and, um, that is not my style, so it makes it really hard. Like even there, I should be waiting on that. And some of those dodges too, like I should definitely get down, but I'm just unable to uh, time them. I think I'm just, I'm just fatigued and just like totally burnt out on this one. So like my errors are just because of my, I'm just like kind of, I hope I beat it and not really, you know, like I gotta give it my all. But it's hard to do that when you've lost for like hours on hours on hours. This is the hardest challenge I think I've ever done. But I'll get it eventually. Just a matter of when. By then, somebody else will do it. Did get a larval tier thinking that I could respec, but I didn't understand. I didn't know this actually, that if you respec, um, based on your class, you can't go below your baseline stats, which is kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense. But I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So, for example, if you're like a wretch, you can never get anything, any one attribute less than ten. So, I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I was hoping that you could get it as low as whatever one so I was like okay I'm gonna pump everything into my strength and whatever else and just really get strong but that did not work we'll get it just gotta focus it's gonna be a long fight you know it's already been a long stream and many long streams but it's just I need to make the I have to take it a little bit slower. And the earlier phase, unless this fat one's angry, like he's kind of aggressive right now, 
they typically move a lot slower, so they can I can separate them out a little easier. That was close. He glanced. There's a glancing blow right off the side. That was scary. Take it slower. It's not my style. I'm gonna dodge that one. When he twirls, I gotta hold on just a little bit longer. Oh, it is very windy outside. Sounds like a train. He did two charge attacks in a row. I still take about the same amount of damage even when I try and take it slower. I'm just cursed. One time you're not accurate, huh? When it doesn't matter. Get behind this, come over here, blast up. Now he's gonna be right next to him, so hopefully he can come over here just a bit and pursue us. Of course, now he's like positioning himself in such a way where he's going to stay close to the other summon, but if I can have him summon around here, it'd be fine. One, two, three, four. He strung together that combo, which we don't like. That's kind of a, a you know a gamble there though when I go and attack it because he can string it together with something else.
gonna start hitting him as he goes down so they get extra hits here. I didn't need to do that, but whatever. Dodge. Three flasks left. saw the black flame effect. I think the more you get hit by it, the more it kind of accumulates too. Very similar to Malaketh's flame because um, if he hits you with successive strikes, like not only does your health bar actually decrease, but um, the actual maximum HP decreases as well. by some pretty powerful combos there. His range is ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Three hours in and no closer to beating these fucking guy. Gosh. We will get them eventually. I will do this before I die. That, that is my goal. You will fall before me wielding a torch. This is ridiculously hard. I really do like this strategy though, and I'm and I'm glad I was able to get Commander Nial out of the picture at least, but man. These guys are just relentless. And at this point, because I've lost so much, like it's in my I gotta get out of my head. They're in my mind. It's just the fat one is ridiculous. He is such a troll. be dodging though, that panic roll I guess. Sir, can you attack me? I wonder if like that Shabriri's thing would be better, but I feel like they don't attack enough. I don't mind when the skinny one attacks, but when the fat one attacks, it's just I can't handle it. He is way too aggressive. He gets stabbed again. He's already doing his charge attack. See, like, one, two, and then three is his charge. He's doing it again. That's probably what I'm going to do. 
after this stream. I'm going to keep trying the boss, but at, probably off stream, I'll just keep leveling. I'll go to the consecrated snow fields and level as much as possible there. That way I can get the, uh, the faith up to 14. I think that's what I need. And then when that gets up to 14, then um, I can remove one of those heirlooms and I can add maybe the Ur Tree one or Radigan Seal would be nice, but not at the cost of like dying every five seconds. Because you get hit twice and you're dead. Which isn't much different from right now, but it does make a difference whenever you're like in that last, you know, phase whenever you might not have any flasks left. How oh, are you still? Oh man, I must have unfazed him. It's, it's dependent on their combo too. There's so many factors that like in, in, interfere with that. I'm gonna go behind this column and flask up. But like when they're mid combo and you hit them, it, it, depending on what strike they're doing, it might actually interrupt their sleep phase altogether, their little stagger phase. stay away from the foul. I've used a lot of flasks already, but it's fine. Let's see if we can increase our damage a bit. Love that attack. Normally. It's really fun to dodge, too. Out of range here. He's gonna destroy a bunch of columns, possibly up to four. Yeah, all the columns are destroyed save for two. We're by the dragon head, so we're gonna bring him around over here. out of range, it should be okay. Gotta watch for this guy, the big guy is the problem. He's starting to move around a little quicker already. Starting to track a little more aggressively. I heard the fire, I thought he was gonna be blocked by the column, but I was wrong. I think I'm right underneath the dragon actually, so that's not good. Come over here. Don't summon yet, please. He's summoning. I don't like to be so close to him whenever he's summoning, but that's fine. He didn't give me any choice.
Oh no. Missed opportunity there. I wasn't even being aggressive actually, I just accidentally just tapped R1 twice. That's all it takes. Big guy. He uh, changes to phase two really quickly. The skinny guy is pretty consistent. At like 60%. Oh god, I'm dead. Two flasks, now I have zero. Couldn't get out of range quick enough there. restaurant for this one. Bathroom break. Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back. BRB. Yeah, imagine doing this fight, Torch level one. Um, that would suck. Like, rune level one would, not, would be bad only because you wouldn't have enough health. Like, if you get hit once, you'd die. Um, that's why that would suck. And you can't do critical attacks. You know, that's the hard part as well. You, you are unable to do criticals, so you never have iframes. And you can't deal a ton of damage at any given time unless the other one's asleep. As you've seen the combos that I've done, you can get up to four hits if you start 
stunning them um, once they get staggered or when you start hitting them once you get staggered it's really the best bet but you have to be aware of the other one so very rarely do you get that opportunity level one would have only be harder because you couldn't get hit and you wouldn't have any scaling on the torches but yeah I agree with that statement it'd be even worse but level one I'll have to finish my level one run as well. Torch was more appealing to me. Because no one had been doing it. Like, everyone in the world was like, oh, I can do it with level one. Even people that didn't even play Elden Ring. It's like, oh, okay. So I was like, let's do something different that not everybody can do. little mistakes. It just makes me want to punch something. Okay. Even from that angle, he was still able to throw because he throws it with his left hand. So I typically think, okay, I'm going to have some protection from those columns. Case. This is where you get the four hits in. One, two, back away. Three, four, you get stunned, and I get a fifth one in here. And three. That's like the best you could do. If the other one's away, you can avoid all that extra damage, but I've been unfortunately unable to dodge that some of those strikes. And I've just been taking a ton of Unnecessary hits. Hard to see what the hell he's doing there. They should rename this fight. It's not the Godskin duo. It's like the Godskin quadru quadru whatever. Quadruped. Quattro. Quintuplets, whatever. You can fight as many as you need to to deal enough damage. It's ridiculous. One, two, three, four. Oh god, he's asleep. But after his attack. I messed that up. That's okay. That would have been great to be able to keep him asleep there, though. That's alright. I gotta be much more careful with my s subsequent strikes. At this point, I know he's probably not gonna go sleep for a while, so it's fine. Nice. Five flasks left. It's always a shame to have flasks left when I'm dead. That means I had a really bad encounter or something, or I didn't uh, space out my heals enough, but he just hit me with about two or three six consecutive strikes, so that was all it took. How much? I need to find a way to level up my faith to 14 organically. Let's see, that gives me. What is it at without this? It's at 10. Wow, that gives you plus 5? Not bad. I need 14 to be able to wield it, though. Hmm. What's my flask doing? What's it doing these days? Temporarily boost charged attack power. Okay, okay. And strength. Just don't know. That's fine. There is no magic answer. Just I have to just not get hit as much. I'm taking too much damage. That's literally the only thing. Because I don't have flasks at the very end, so I'm, I'm struggling with that last phase. There's no solution other than just better execution. 
because the damage is not going to be increased even with uh, my optimal build is like 400 you know so it's not nothing too crazy and that's on a 400 on like an R2 a charge a charge There's nothing I could do there. I was waiting to dodge the skinny guy's strike and then the fat one stabbed me. So then I got hit by all three strikes instead. When they're that close, you're gonna get hit. Oh man, I would love to have some help on this one. If I could use like a summon or something, obviously that's against the rules, but damn. I would love to see these guys lose today. I only have like 30 minutes left, or not too, well I can probably go for a little bit longer. I don't have anywhere to go, but ugh, it's frustrating. I wanted to win this stream. Maybe I will. There's still a chance. Boss Hoggy redeemed Hydrate, I shall. As soon as I either die in a few seconds, which is bound to happen, or if I have a good stopping point. This is ridiculously hard. Very nice. been nice to be able to get my four hit combo but <clears throat> with the uh, the noble the, as close as he is there's no way I can do that <clears throat> thanks for that uh, hydrate losing my voice here Pretty sure he's gonna try and shoot me. Or throw a flame thing. Yep, okay, good. Now we can dodge. Been lurking. Thanks, Boss Hoggy. Appreciate the lurks. Oh my gosh. That delayed combo is terrible. I got hit by that. I'm gonna have to sprint out of range. If I get hit again, I might die. Gonna use two more of our heals. Unfortunately, we're using a lot of heals early on, but it kinda is what it is. We gotta just make it work somehow. This challenge has proven incredibly difficult for me. But I like it. Especially once I get past these guys, everything else is gonna be doable at least. The Godskin Duo is definitely one of the hardest bosses in the game. We've tried to exploit some of the mechanics by just going for the skinny one, which has really been helpful. Uh, but the fat one is just relentless. And back away. He had that 5 hit combo that time. We're going to see if we can. Take some cover behind this column here. There we go. Do a jumping attack, why not? Getting a little greedy with the damage. Back away. He's gonna 
break that column. That's unfortunate. That's our cover. Thanks for sprinting away. Yeah, that was really close. That was way too close. Okay, so two jumping attacks should kill the skinny one, but we still have the issue the fact that we're gonna have to fight a, full, a handful more. All right, five heals left. Not good, I had to burn through a handful there. Once he tries to summon his friend, we can go ahead and knock him out. Four hits, two, three, four, he's asleep. I, ju I jumped way too early there. Go ahead and flask up. Four hits in right here. I'm gonna flask up again, see what he does. My favorite attack, which is great. Gotta back away. Watch the fat one, I think he's coming back. Two flasks left, one column to protect us. <clears throat> but not if we're doing shit like that. Okay, I gotta back up again. Flask up. We have one flask left. Correction. The fat one's doing his double charge attack, which is just terrible. One, two. Jumping attack. I need to sprint away here. Alright, last flask of the day. And they're barely at half health, so we've got us a journey ahead of us. All right. This will be five hits here if he wants to summon his friend. Which he will. One, two, three, four, five. got this clown left. One hit and we're dead, so. Gotta be careful. We can get our four hits in this time, which is great. Replenish some stamina. Oh gosh, I'm dead. <laughs> we got him close, and the fat one was still asleep after the second round. It's good. He was just now waking up. I need to time that. I wonder how much or how long he stays asleep. I do not know. All right, let's try that again. So close. Got tagged in the front. I hate getting hit before I enter the boss room. That's terrible. That's okay, though. I, 
after this stream I still don't beat them, I'm going to have to level up off stream as much as possible in the consecrated fields. And that way I can just uh, increase my faith up to 14. And that will allow me to free up a slot. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I guess we could try that now. I don't need to do anything off stream. Okay, so we go here. Actually, yeah, it's fine. There's a few caravans. And they'll drop some stuff. Just looking for runes. Any enemy will do. Those two right there, that's perfect. Seven thousand runes, not a ton, but better than nothing, I guess. One hit. I mean, this is crazy. I wish the year the gods can do it was this easy. These guys are really sleepy. Very nice. That's like 15, 16,000. Okay, very good. Lovely. Take out this page over here. Twenty thousand, okay, not too bad. Don't want him to blow his horn. I don't want everybody's attention on us at once. Got another page fighter over here. That was close. Damn you. Nice. 26,000 for taking out just a handful of those guys. If I can go back there and hopefully those trolls will be back, I might get up to 50,000, which means I can level up. And if I can do that a handful of times, then we can boost up our, uh, our faith. I'll go ahead and switch back to this as well. And this can be switched to the sword seal. Does the torch have some skill attack? Not the only ones that do are the uh, the steel wire torch, and let's see steel wire torch and the Saint Trina's torch, and it just blows the flames out. But I haven't been able to effectively use that in the fight.
Ow. I wish you could critical with the torch. I know it doesn't make any sense, but... Oh, that would be nice. These guys don't drop any runes for them being so damn hard. And they just deal a lot of damage at this level, that's all. But they're not actually too bad. But the Perfumer's Bolt. Alright, let's go kill the Caravan. Wherever that may be. There it is. Old Aristocrat Cowl. Very nice. Keep getting these charge attacks on the head. All right. That's 50 something thousand runes. That's not bad. It's not bad for two halls there. That might be the same one I was going for, but there's usually one southeast as well. Nah, I think it's still probably around here. Unless they traveled all the way that far, they could have. I'm not sure what their full path is. I normally stop it before it gets too, too far ahead, but who knows. There's, a, there's two caravans. I don't have my beast repellent torch. I thought, I was like, oh yeah, they're not going to bother me. Wrong. Visibility is non existent. I feel like I just heard a red wolf of Radigan. I grabbed out seeds already. Man, it'd be nice to have a flask or two more. That's also something I could do. I have two seeds right now, right? It takes another two for me to level up. Or add another charge. Hey, I remember you. Yeah. 
gives you a guaranteed drop. I forget which one. He gives you the Rotten Battle Hammer and the Rotten Duelist Helm, a guaranteed. And then there's another one over in the same area. Uh, it's actually up near the Albanaric uh, lit liturgical town or whatever, liturgical town or whatever it's called. And that is where you can get some more pieces of the Rotten Duelist Armor. And then there's a cave that gives you his cowl. So you get the whole Rotten Duelist set, and that's a guaranteed drop from those enemies. But there is uh, another duelist set that's the non-rotten or non-scarlet rot version that you can also obtain but that is a random drop there's a rune bear around here that i am not trying to mess with okay so let's see if we can respawn that thing again did you figure out your your easy around your way around safe no i did not i did not i got my i picked it up um I picked up my USB yesterday, and so I was looking through the PS5, and it doesn't ever actually single out the individual save files for the game. So it'll it'll say, "Hey, here's your here's your save files for uh, Elden Ring," but it doesn't say, for example, that hey, these are all the this is your file number one, file number two, etc. It's all grouped together. So I don't know what to do there. And I am not very well versed and I would hate to lose it. So I'm like, uh I figure out what to do there. The reason why I wasn't able to kill him earlier or faster last time is because I didn't I wasn't even two handing. I was like, oh gosh. Silly me. Lovely. Ooh, wrong button. Sadly, they removed the hammer as a certain drop in Limgrave. Really? That's no good. Can you get the hammer elsewhere? I thought the hammer was a drop from the, uh, the, the duelist in that cave that's over in that starting area. What the hell? Oh yeah, those things hit really hard. I thought you still I thought you could get the hammer. I, if I recall correctly, um, there's a duelist in one of the caverns and you can get it as a guaranteed drop. But if that's changed, that's no good. I definitely have that. Oh, I got it that way before all the patches, I guess. I wonder why they did that, because I mean, then what would be your quest reward for that, uh, the dungeon reward, you know? There's got to be one. Wow, you only get a Nash of War now, are you kidding me? Well, I'm glad I got it. Is now you have to get it as a normal loot drop, I'm assuming. And that was a good strength weapon, too. Why would they have gotten rid of that? You have to farm for it now. Wow. The one thing that I noticed they changed after the patch that I was like, oh, wow, was the, uh, there's a Knight Rider Cavalry guy in, in Lyurnia of the Lakes. 
And the fact that they changed, like, whenever I beat him the first time, I did not get any drops at all. But then he now drops, like, some special item. I think it's an Ash of War that he, w he was not dropping before. Actually, he drops a weapon now or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, what? I noticed the change because I did on my two files. And I was like, wait, he didn't drop anything for me last time. And he was the only Knight Rider Cavalry that didn't. Alright, so we have 87,000. Ooh, I have an idea. Um, I can duplicate some Remembrance runes and use those too. Okay, so... Let's continue. Let Forty-two thousand. Okay, so not too terrible. Thinking, I'm thinking. I know there's one around here somewhere. Uh, and there's also one right over here. Because that could be 40,000 easy runes there. And this is an okay farming route. It's fine. I don't have... Uh, <laughs> let me see. Any gold pickled foul foot. So... Can't enhance my chances of... Getting more runes. You have to farm for it. Now that's unfortunate. I'm so glad I got it before the patch, man. One thing I don't like is doing patches like that when they change the uh, like the loot tables. I, I do not like that. Unless they like increase drop rates, I hate when they change loot tables. Like I love knowing when there's guaranteed drops, and then when they change that, it completely throws me off. If you use the bow, farming bird in the blood area. Would be the easiest way because it drops 13,000 runes with all rune buffs. That's not bad. Die, fool. Alright, 13,000. Yeah, I would have got as many as I for killing all these enemies plus having 5,000 left over. I would have had the same amount. That's not bad. Those runes are terrible, though. The, uh,. I think I have the ac I have access that area too, to be honest, because I I went ahead and did some invasions because I wanted to make sure I could access every single area. The Roa fruit. Seriously? There you go. There's a lot of weapons and armors that are random drops in this game with abysmal drop rates. Yeah, I bet. I know that you would know that for a fact because you farm all the enemy drops too. I don't do that usually until like on my new game plus, but I'm probably going to do that before I go to new game plus so I can have access to every single area and just go ahead and uh, knock that out before I start my new game plus. It's crazy how much damage I do with a torch against normal enemies. Gods can do oh, not so much. Okie dokie. Boink. All we're doing is we're just leveling up our faith so that we don't have to use a, a talisman slot to increase our faith. And that should help us a lot. That way I can then focus on some damage dealing. And increase it ever so slightly, but it'll be it'll be worth it. All right, so that's thirty-four thousand. Not terrible, not terrible. There's another caravan, but I don't know where it's at, and I'm having a decent time getting through these. Like it's not too time-consuming. It's just a few runs of this. Not terrible, but definitely not the best uh, 
farming route, but hey, it's one that works. Especially when you only need like 40 something thousand runes to level anyways. We just need to level up two more times and we got this. Let's go take out the page guys. Seriously, bro. Inquisitor says, like, I was farming Godric Knight for one hour and he only dropped me his helm twice. Wow. Yeah, that's insane. See, I couldn't farm like that until after I've, like, seen everything in the game. Because then I'm going to get so burnt out of the game. And I don't want to because this is a game that I, I truly love. And I do not want to start getting frustrated with. Now, I am frustrated in general just because the gods can do it so damn hard. But that's not, like, oh my gosh, the game sucks. Like, it's just more like, I'm just, like, I can't get through it for whatever reason. But farming enemies like that would definitely wear in my nerves. I think that I'd at some point feel like, man, this is just not worth it. But I love having all the items too, so it, I have to be in a very special mindset to farm. <laughs> I have to be like, all right, I'm in farm mood. Because if not, and here, I'm, this is not really farm. It's just easy, simple rune farming. Just figure this out on the fly, so we're good. But a proper farm requires a lot of preparation, a good route, things like that. That little lazy torch maneuver deals so much damage. He's dead. Next. All right. 60-something thousand runes. Not bad, not bad. One more time. Actually, no. Two more times should do it. Two more and I'm done. Maybe one will do it, because I'm getting like 26,000, so maybe one will do it. We'll see. We'll see. It's a weird shadow. What the heck? Is there a spaceship or something? That's a very strange shadow. <laughs> for the bolt in the back. You get brave when you have two friends. The page hood and a red branch short bow. That's excellent. Those guys have a good drop rate. <laughs> they really do, though. I have a lot of page hoods.
What? Let the stamina come back. Put him to sleep. We'll go ahead and farm the rest of these runes here. That damage is incredible. All right. That should do the trick. I'm assuming. That might do the trick. Alright, perfect. We're at level 14 now. Now let's get the flock out of here. Alright, so we can go here. Now I can change this back to this item. I no longer need this. And we're either gonna go the Radigan Source here, which will bump up a lot of our stats, or here. So we'll try the Radigan Source here for now, and we'll give it a few more attempts before we call it a stream. Not bad. So at least we leveled that up. Uh, we don't have to worry about using a talisman slot for that item. And yes, we will take more damage, but at the same time, we also have a bit more vitality. So we'll see. I did increase my strength with the flask as well as the uh, charge attack, so hopefully we're going to be dealing some pretty decent damage. Alright. That guy's coming in kind of hot. I'm cornered already, I don't like it, so I'm going to reposition. <laughs> what? <laughs> How'd you get in there? bait the big guy over here and then hopefully get in some free strikes. I'm going to be all the way over here hopefully. He might get motivated to come fight me. Come eat me. He's so quick. I'm expecting a black flame to the back of the head. Gladly we didn't get one. He's gonna fall right back to sleep. Which is great. I need you over here, genius. Ah. <laughs> Dodge the black flame. All right. Dodge through. Black flame punish. We're going to dodge that. That's all right. Dodge. Dodge. It was a bit too early, but that's okay. 
Still pulled it off. Dodge behind this pillar here, he's gonna destroy it and strike number two, very nice. Gonna watch my back here. Man, I wish I could use like projectiles or something, you know, just to be able to deal with like tick damage. Or if I could like poison them, but that's again completely invalidating the challenge. But there's just so many other options. I'm like, oh gosh, I wish I could just hurt you guys. End them. All right, where's the dragon head? It's all the way over there. Very nice. Gonna keep an eye on the fat guy. As soon as he raises his hand, one, two, three, four. He's asleep. I'm glad his sleep is consistent at the very least. Hoping he'd try and do a black flame, very good. So this guy's gotta go to sleep at some point. I'll be going now. Good luck with the deal. Thank you so much, Quizador. You take care. Have a great rest of your day. You're just not gonna let me attack him, are ya? only one more column that's intact. He is definitely protecting his friend. Use this column while we can. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> Dodge. Okay, there you go. Two jumping attacks was a trick. Okay. And then it's going to be five strikes to put him to sleep. I got one flask left. Oh, 
Oh, that hurt. Gonna get punished, of course. That's so annoying. Back up. One hit. <clears throat> One hit is all it's going to take to knock us off this mortal coil. <clears throat> so we have the blue dancer. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that could increase our damage. I don't think I have any better charms. Now I wonder, let's take a look at this real quick. Right handed arm, it's 455. Whoa, 469, okay. Let's try that, because now it's dealing more damage, right? Because it's got the scaling. Let's give that a whirl. Love the glow of that St. Trina's torch. So nice. Nice. That's also nice. Getting stabbed with a halberd in the back. So I need two more seeds to be able to um, flask up a 12th time. And then I only have two more after that, so... I might consider farming some golden seeds as well. Never dodged back. Broke my own rule there. Jump, fool. Okay. He was doing his slam attack. Oh, he's asleep? When did he fall asleep? Try jumping at the last second. I definitely didn't that right. Alright, the dragon head is probably above me, so I need to walk him over here if possible. Probably not gonna happen though, he's kinda just hanging out here with us. Be able to attack that sharp, that's okay.
jump. Damn it. I killed him, but when I'm stuck there like that, there's nothing I can do. Oh, it's close. That was two down, and the other one was still asleep. So I have to do a bunch of charged RTs there. That's like the best way to go. That guy's in the way. That vase actually stopped me. Continue hitting him there, but I couldn't. Let's walk over here. <coughs> he always does that. I don't need him to be all cautious. Watch, oh, he's gonna throw one right here. Yeah. I need to flask up, if possible. Dragon heads behind him, so I need him to come this way so he can summon his friend away from the dragon. The further apart they are, the better. Dodge that. Very nice. Okay. This will take five hits.
Oh gosh, okay. So close. We have three flasks. Oh gosh, he's chasing me. He's literally running after me. That was terrifying. One flask left. I sprint away. Damn it, the fat guy is all over me. Not where I want to be. She's covering so much ground. Nope. I got one flask left. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Get away. I am nervous. <clears throat> that was nice. Now we're gonna back out of range here. Watch for some black flames from the fat guy. Hands are so sweaty. Very nice. Oh, if the skinny one could just come out of here. No health whatsoever. One hit will finish us off for most strikes. Very close. I hate how the big one, the fat one's moving so fast. I have no health, virtually no health. <laughs> they could sneeze at me and I will die. Let's finish this one way or the other, shall we?
Why? Why is the big one running and the skinny one not? I needed was another flask. One flask probably would have done done it for me. Goes the fat one again. Running around, like, why are you running already? I would love to punish that, but let's see. You come over here. Jump! Alright. Dragon heads right here.
Uh, even after he's dead, that attack still spins for a bit. It actually still is active after he's dead. And I remember, I should have remembered that from the one time it almost killed me as well. That is all right.
Let's see what we got. Oh, that's not good. Got me. All right, last try right here. This will be my last attempt. For the uh, for this stream, anyways. Ah, back. He's come. He's mad. All right, here goes. Well, we tried. We couldn't get that first one down, but um, that is all I got for today at this stream anyways. We have to beat these guys. Um, they are literally a mandatory boss, and I thought that with this strategy, it'd be much easier, but it's not much easier at all. <laughs> it's not much easier at all, in fact. Um, it's still very difficult. Uh, I think the best thing I need to do is just minimize the amount of damage I'm taking up front. But it's easier said than done because the AI is so 
random and sometimes the Godskin Noble, which is the bigger one, is a lot more aggressive. So it's like it's just really difficult to kind of gauge what the best strategy is aside from what I'm doing right now. There's really no additional damage that I'll be dealing necessarily. Um, so it's like, well, we probably just kind of maybe go for some a little bit more health or something. I don't know. I mean, that little sliver there is not going to really do much. Um, but this here seems to be doing a lot more damage. If you look at the right hand armament from 448 to 467, I mean, so probably the better route to go anyway, just to increase the faith. So who knows? That has been a crazy, crazy uh, ride with this boss fight. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take for me to beat them, but I'm assuming that um, we'll probably get them next stream. And we have to, because after them, we have to fight Malekith, which is going to be very difficult as well. The first phase will be anyways. And then after that, it's pretty much smooth sailing, but it has been an incredible journey trying to get through these guys. It's taken me now, I mean, this is the fourth stream, I believe. So since stream four or five, no, five or six, so I've been dealing with the Godskin duo, at least even getting to them and then fighting them. So it's probably been a probably accumulation of probably ten hours of me facing off with them, re-strategizing, coming back and still not coming out successful, but we'll figure, we'll figure it out. Um, we've got to beat them eventually. And once we do, then we can move on to uh, the next big obstacle, which will be Malekith. But his phase two now that I kind of got down should be all right. It's just more so that first phase when he's swinging around like crazy. But I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. And as always, it's the Inhuman when it's signing out.